What's up everyone? Check the pre-sports cards coming at you. Long time since my last video, but um, went to the National today. Got to meet Ethan and his awesome dad, Kane. Um, got to meet a couple of others. Got to, meet, um, got to meet Phil Hughes from Phil's Bulls after Ethan told me where his booth was at. Um, got to meet Sully. Um, a couple others that I actually didn't know from YouTube until I was, you know, until I was, you know, somebody pointed them out to me. Um, but um, went there specifically besides to finally meet Ethan. But um, some of you guys know that I got a Panini redemption card of Eloy Jimenez last year. I've been waiting over a year for it. Um, so um, Panini does uh, exchanges. So I figured just get, you know, a simple easy card. They actually had a Brian Erlacher patch card that I would have been totally fine with. But they offered to give me one of these black, uh, Panini black boxes. Um, that um, the one guy at the Panini booth said are worth a minimum of 250 bucks. The Eloy card that I exchanged was only a book value of 30 bucks. I even asked the guy, I said, you sure about that? He goes, yeah, he goes, I'm, he goes, I'm giving you extras. I said, okay. Um, but while I was in line um, at the Panini, at the Panini uh, booth, they were handing out cards while, you know, for you to open while you were, you know, waiting and everything. So I'll show you some of the cards that I, you know, that I got. I actually did get one nice hit. Um, you'll actually see it in just a few cards. Got a Syndergaard, Devers, Marcus Simeon. Got a real nice um, Dominators, Gold. I don't know if you can see it on there, but number to 99 of Jorge Soler. Johnny Cueto, and Polar Bear, Isan Diaz, Daryl Strawberry. And then actually pulled an AJ Puck autograph. I will sleeve that and, you know, and, and put it, you know, penny sleeve and, and a top loader and, 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 you know, after this video. But actually pulled that out, out of a free pack, so you can't complain about that whatsoever. The newest, I believe he went to the Giants, Chris Bryant, blue. Brian Abreu, got a, an Acuna Diamond King. Larry Barkin, or Barry Larkin. Don Mattingly, got an awesome Jacob DeGrom, number to 262, so very cool. PC card. Freddie Freeman, shout out to Wento, Freddie Franchise. Aaron Nola, Brian Anderson Blue, Polar Bear, Pete Alonzo, Ricky Henderson, Roger Clemens, Alan Trammell, David Peralta, Arizona, shout out to Kevin. Jack Flaherty, another PC card, so very cool. Walker Bueller, um, one guy that I was waiting in line with gave me this one, USA Justin Foscue, numbered out of 149. Had Aaron, uh, Andrew Vaughn on the backside, so he let me have that one. Uh, for a double shot, one for the USA collection and then one for my White Sox. And then I also pulled this one out of one of the packs that I got, but a Shoei Tani numbered to 500. Bobby Bradley, Bruce Dar Gretterall, Alex Bregman, Tyrone Taylor. So not too bad. I mean, I got you know, what total of four packs for free. Pulled an autograph. You can't complain about that. And then a couple PC cards. So not too shabby one of the booths i went to also i gotta show you this super cheap it ain't real it's it's so fake it's unreal but it just looks really cool replica of the world series ring for the white Sox. so i had to buy one of those when i ran into ethan he said he had uh he had some cards for me so very cool he you know gave me an x-fractor goldschmidt so very very cool you gotta love the x-fractors an awesome kershaw usa prism card that i did not have this is from 2012 so very, very cool. Thank you, Ethan. You are the man. 1972, uh, Kershaw, numbered to 572. I don't know if you guys can see that in that corner. And then one of those top big cards, USA, Doug Robbins. Then a couple flag cards. Um, he texted me before, um, asked me if I needed them, and I know for a fact I needed them. Andrew Jones and Chris Sale, so very, very cool. And then um, three cards that I picked up um, on my way out, actually. One of them, it jumped out at me right away, and I was like, dude, i got to buy it from my USA collection, but a King Griffey Jr. with the American flag in the back called United Nations. Paid $5 for that card. I was like, how could I complain about that? It's a very, very cool card. And then uh, got a Mark Reynolds, number to 76. Again, $5. And then also a press clippings Albert Pujols, 
guy actually let me have this one for five bucks. He marked it 10, gave it to me for five. But another jersey card, but I got it because of the American flag in there. So very, very cool. And then now we shall open this black box. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about what I'm gonna get in there because from what Ethan got out of all of his, they were all basketball. I don't collect any basketball unless it's Charles Barkley. But like I told Ethan at the National, I wouldn't complain if I got a shack out of here. So hopefully it's somebody in baseball or football that I've heard of, but let's see what we got. I mean, I I traded an Eloy and I already have a couple Eloy autographs. So I traded an Eloy autograph for this. So let's see what we got. Well, I'm just, I'm just gonna open it up. We did, oh, we got a Vince Carter autograph jersey card. Not too shabby. Vin Sanity, you gotta like that. With the one of one black box. So if any of you, any of you guys out there are Vince Carter fans, let me know. We'll work out a deal for it. I'm not, you know, I don't collect basketball, so this is this will go up for trade. Um, but so if anybody's interested, just uh, post about it, let me know. And that's about it. So I will see you guys later. Hopefully next time it won't be such a, you know, such a long time between videos. You guys have a great day and as always, be blessed.